Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan with Elise, and today we are planning in my classic vertical happy planner for the week of November 18th through 24th. While I was looking for another sticker book, I came across Homesteader, and I think this is a new copy, like a fresh copy that I must have purchased during a sale. And I feel like Homesteader is probably one of my favorite happy planner sticker books. It's just so beautiful and it's probably why I picked up a second copy and I thought that it almost has like a November vibe without being too November-ish if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was actually going back and forth about using it this week or next week and ultimately decided that this week was the week that I wanted to use it. So we're going to decide here which quote I want to use. I was really leaning towards this one. Have nothing in your houses that you do not know to be useful. But I, I don't love the quote as much as I love the style of the quote. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's another one. Live what you love. I like that. And... I kind of want to pair it with a double box. So I think we're going to take this green box here. I'm going to go right to left because I feel like I've been doing that a little bit more lately. Um, and it's mostly because my November weekends are so busy that going right to left gets the decor and everything. Do I do that? Maybe if we go this way here. I think we're going to go upside down with this. Um, it gets my weekends set. And then I can kind of figure out the plans. Or the, no, the plans are in the weekend mostly. The, like, to-dos. That's kind of where I'm, I'm leaning towards with it. And then I was thinking this live what you love right over here. So height-wise... We have to cover probably about here. And we're going to try to get this down and try to sit up a little bit taller so I can get a good view. And then I can see just this little spot here that needs to be covered. I like that. Okay. Now. we need another color right because I have the green in but I feel like there's going to be more like color that I need than just the green so I'm sort of leaning towards the yellow-ish but also like I like these and these don't really have the yellow so maybe I go for like the yellow with kind of the pink too so let me look for a box here. I'm looking for a tall box that I can write in. When I use Happy Planner stickers, I feel like lately I do try to just stick with one sticker book and not bring in other supplementary ones. We'll see if I can, but I think I might be able to. These are cool. We might be able to use these. So I was thinking, I'm going to go down a little bit, but I'm lining this line with the sticker up with the line here so that it looks better. And then actually I kind of wanted to switch things around. I liked this all together sticker, the, the one on my left finger, because Saturday is Friendsgiving. And I liked that as kind of a heading for it. Don't rip. Come on. Don't do this to me today. Okay. So instead, we're going to move this over here. And then use the all together sticker. I think right over here. I'm going lower with these because I want to bring in some more floral. So let me do that so we can kind of get the visual. 
these. Oh, those are foil. I don't really love the foil. We know that about me. Is there a set? I think they're probably just the foil ones. So we're going to go ahead and not be afraid of the foil. <laughs> The copper foil isn't as tough as the other foil. And part of the reason I don't love foil is because I think it's really hard to photograph, but copper has a nice amount of saturation to it. It's not that bad. That's right here. And then you can kind of get the effect I was looking for. Okay. Now, Friday, I have to figure out how I want to do this. So Friday is my book launch party. I feel like we need a nice, good, big sticker there. I'm kind of leaning toward one of these, but I don't know that I have the room for it because of the quote I put down. So I think we're actually going to cut it to cut off that bottom part. And before I put this down, well, we could use a little one of these on top of it. That would add some like consistency from the box on the Sunday. But if I do that, I also have to figure out what's going at the bottom box. Maybe one of these. Live the story you want to tell. I kind of already have that. Live what you love. Sort of have that. I have both. I have that and then I have the other one on the left side. I like this is where the good stuff happens. I think we're going to go for this one. There's a lot about this book launch party I'm excited about. I'm excited to celebrate my book. But... I also am excited to see the people who are coming to the party. There's a lot of people who in my life who I love very, very much and just don't get to see a lot. And most of them are coming to the party, which is really special and meaningful to me. And I actually like went back and forth for a while on whether or not I even wanted to have a party because I have a really hard time asking people to show up for me. I feel like it's inconvenient and it's a burden which sounds silly saying it out loud, but it's just one of those really hard things. And I couldn't believe how many people um, are making time in their day to, to come and celebrate. So I'm really excited about that. And it's going to be, it's going to be special. Okay. Um, final steps on over here is like, we've got a little bit of randomness happening <laughs> with an open space. So I wanted to fill that open space a little bit, not too much, but I thought that even just like bringing in this yellow will help right there. And then maybe we take the pink one from the, and put it over here. And that kind of helps fill that in. I do think looking at this, that it'll be helpful to cover these up. All right. Now, I'm not putting any checklists or to-dos into, bring on the comma like that, not yet, December might be calmer. Um, I, I'm not bringing any checklists Friday through Sunday because there's just not going to be any time for it. So now what I want to do is kind of go this way. So... I think that we'll put, I guess I probably have to bring in some blues if the checklist, well, you know what? I was going to say if the checklists are what I want to use. However, where is the sticker book? I don't know if the color is going to be right. I also know I said I wasn't going to bring in any other sticker books, but I happen to have Kel the Plan dots and checklists right by me. And I feel like, hmm trying to see if there's a color here that might work. Like this green. 
is pretty good here. I think that for that consistency's sake, we're going to use these checklist stickers. So I need four of them total, three and four. And this way, I'm just gonna put them on the side of my desk so that I can pull from them and move, oops, move this sticker book over. Okay, looks like there's a little bit of a gap right there, it's all right. Um, but if there's gonna be a gap, I think I'd prefer the gap to be at the bottom, not at the top. now let's open my November calendar because I was aware of what was going on at the end of the week but I have to confirm what's happening earlier in the week I have Patreon Zoom but other than that not too much so going back over here let's go to the circles and we have another two more well, one more green circle one more of these one more I think maybe we're going to bring in, hmm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this again, <laughs> being very indecisive with my checklist today. So originally I was thinking I was going to put the box or the circle here, but if I do that, then And then I was go and because I had the checklist up top, I was trying to figure out what was going to go down here because I already have a quote there. But instead, we can put this box over here and include something fun up top, whether it's a quote or more floral. I think we'll do a quote if there's one I like. Live what you love, I already did right there. It's like the quotes I like the best, I already used them. I also really like there's beauty in simple things. Um, hmm. Maybe we take gather, give, grow, and we make it a shorter quote. Gather, oops, give, grow. I'm going to need to cover up some of the line here. Sorry, I have to go sideways because I need to be able to see what's happening. <laughs> Gather. I try not to spin the pages too much. I want to make you dizzy. Gather. And then give and grow. Because the G's are pretty tall, it takes up a decent amount of space there. And I think it looks nice. All right. We're making progress. Now we can decide basically what's going to happen with the rest based on this checklist. So I think I'm going to put one here. Actually, yeah, we're going to put one here. Let me start from the top though. I just don't have long enough arms to reach the top of it when I'm sitting down. There here, here, and then here. Uh, no. There, here. Couldn't make up my mind. And here. Part of my intention of where I'm putting them is because I know I want to bring in some more of this flower and I can't do, I need two full boxes to be able to spread that through. And when, because it was on the top there, I thought it would be nice being on the bottom on the left side. So to put this here, I'll cover the line. And then let's see. Um, I want to bring in some of these. So let's take the yellow and the pink. Let's 
we're going to put the pink one right up here. We can put the yellow one. Hmm. I was thinking if I put this here, I could do a circle over here, a quote over here, but then what would go here? Because we have a quote right there. So before I just map that all out, let me put in a circle box sticker. So I think I wanted to use the pink, but I also kind of wanted to use the green. So I think we can put this over here. I'm just a little nervous about how much of it is coming over this side, but I think it's okay. And then, I mean, the other option here is to take this, put this here as intended. and then kind of move this over. So we've got a little bit more space to work with. I think that that works. And then I just have to decide what to go there, but we could do another box quote similar to down at the bottom. So let's look for options there. Oh, I was gonna say this one's good, but nope, we already have that quote. I feel like there's a lot of quote repetition in this sticker book and remember from before. I really like there's beauty in simple things, but I don't really have the space for it. Um, do what brings you joy. That's a good one. We're gonna put this here. And then, oh wait, that I'm stuck again with the quote thing. Ah! I went into, I ran into the same issue. I mean, I have nothing in my planner for the 20th as of now. So like, I don't know that I really need something there. I may just bring in some florals because when all else fails, florals, right? Because why not? What if we take this yellow one? I'm just gonna put this in. And not necessarily sticking within the box, just kind of playing around and adding something pretty. I didn't really do that on the other side at all. I mean, I have these, but what I'd also like to do now is bring them in a little bit on the sidebar. And then we have this gap right here. So I think to take this leaf and maybe a little bit of yellow too just to kind of extend that and make it less of a gap and then we have a little bit of space down at the bottom so I don't know what I want to use there feel like I'm kind of out of box quotes at this point. You know what's a good reminder? Every day is a fresh start. It's a good reminder for me today. This morning I'm feeling a little bit drained from some challenges I faced yesterday and very much like I don't really want to do the adult things that I need to do. And it's a good reminder that every day is a fresh start. Maybe this is the exact sticker book that I needed to use this morning as that reminder for myself. Okay, I think that we are set. This is really pretty. It's delicate. It's soft. It makes me happy. There's a lot of good quotes in it, and I'm excited. This sticker book is so old that I'm guessing if it's available, it may be on clearance, so I'll link it in the description um, of the video in case you are interested in shopping and also the Kellogg plan dots and checklists that I used for these. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.